Welcome back ladies and gents to another guitar lesson video. Today we're going to be learning the guitar solo to the song Seize the Day by Avenged Sevenfold. Get ready to build some calluses on your ring finger because we're going to be doing a whole lot of bending. If you're interested in the tabs in PDF or Guitar Pro format, including the guitar tone preset from Archetype Pliny that I used for this video lesson, they are available over at my Patreon. The link is in the description down below. The guitar solo is in standard tuning, so let's get ourselves in tune and let's get started. In part one, we're starting with the slide on the high E string onto 13, then 12. From there, we move to 13 on the B, 15 on the high E, back to 13 on the B, and then 12 on the G, all alternate picked. From there, we have the following. Here, we're picking 15 three times, and at the third time, we're sliding onto 14. And then we have the bend at the 17. You're gonna bend it very gently and slowly. It's a half bend. And at the height of the half bend, you're gonna pick that bend three times. Vibrato, three times again. So as you noticed at the second time around when we're picking 17 three times, at the third time we bend it fully in half and then bend back to neutral position. Okay, so right here we have 13, 15 on the B. You play 15, one and a half bend. And then again, release, pull off to 13, pick 15. From there we have the following. That's pretty simple. You simply slide into 14, play 15 on the G and then 13, 15 on the B. This part of the song is pretty fun. We're playing the 15th notes on the D, G, and B string. We're alternating between them as we move higher up on the fretboard to 18 on the high E. So first we start off with 15 on the D, 15 on the G, 15 on the D, 15 on the B, 15 on the G. Then we move our pinky to 18, B string 15, high E 18, back to 15 B string, and then you have the following. That's 18, 17, and then 18 on the B, and then bend fully 18. Release, 17 vibrato. From that 17, we're gonna play it three times, slide onto 15. We play 15 twice, vibrato. Here we have 13 to 15, and then we bend it twice, but only having picked 15 once. Now we're at the hardest part of the song, so pay close attention. Okay, for that pentatonic lick there, there are different ways to approach it. I'm gonna teach you the way that I approached it. It's a very fast paced, small little section. 
So we have the pentatonic lick here, which is 1310 across the E, B, and G string. That's the first sequence. And then you have this part, which the speed is ramped up in that section. In the song, you can hear a strong attack on that section, which leads me to believe that it is all picked. You can use legato. And if you're very proficient at it and it does it for you to be able to achieve that speed, then by all means. But if you want to learn a little something different, let me show you. So the key here is economy picking. So what is economy picking? That is when you incorporate alternate picking and sweep picking to pick as efficiently as possible. Let me show you what I mean by that. So normally speaking, if we were going to alternate pick this part, which is the fast part, we would have the sequence of right hand as following. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But instead, what we're gonna do with our right hand is this sequence. Down, up, up, down. So basically, I'm sweeping two strings. So alternate picking, down, up, down, up. Economy picking, down, up, up, down. So you see, if I alternate pick, I'm just not, you know, I'm not that proficient at it, alternate picking pentatonics. But if I economy pick it, it just comes a lot more faster, you're more swift. Okay, so right there, we're doing 13, 10, 12, 10, that's from the B to G string, economy picked. And then up, down, up. And then we have this section. So right here, we're picking, stroking once, and then we're sliding across a couple of notes, and then we end with another stroke on the 15, 18 here on the D and B string. So what you wanna do here is you wanna focus on the note that's being played by your pinky on the B string. Your eyes are going to follow that finger, and that's gonna make it easier to shift across the fretboard because you see my index finger through muscle memory is going to remember to keep the distance between two fretboards. So all I have to do is focus on this note and not both. So that's seven, eight, slide to eight, 11, slide to 10, 13, slide to 12, 15, and then stroke again, 15, 18. Okay, in this part, we're starting off on the D string eight, playing 10, seven on the G. With our pinky, we're moving to the 11 B string, play with our ring finger, 10 on the G. Shift higher with our pinky to 13 on the high E and our middle finger on the 11 on the B. Then we have this section. Here we have a fast ramped up mini sweep. So you're starting off on the 10 on the G string, you're sliding to 14, and that one is not ramped up, so it's kind of regular speed. And you ramp it up at the B string. So from that 14, you're gonna downstroke 15, sweep two strings, and then pick 13 on high E, and then with your pinky, you're gonna land on the 17, half bend, release, pick neutral position, vibrato. Then we have this section. Here we're going to slide onto 15 on the E string. The second time you pick it, you bend it fully. Pick it again, bend, pull off 13, then you're going to play 15. On the B, slide, bend, 18.
I like to pick it at the height of the 18 there just to keep some sustain with the notes since I have a noise gate on the guitar and sometimes it gets cut off too soon. Now we're at the last part. We're starting on the B string, 15, 17, 18. Vibrato. Then we have 15 on the B, 14 on the G, 15 on the B. Then we have this part. We pick 11 three times and at the third time we're sliding it onto 13, slide it onto 15. Vibrato. While holding that note duration, you're going to pick 15 three times. At the third time, you slide to 13. Pick 13, slide to 11, pick 11, slide to 10. Then you're going to pull off 11 to 10 twice. Then you're gonna pick 10 on the G. And then pick the pinch harmonic. Okay, so for the pinch harmonic, you want to be, make sure you're pinching at the middle part of your pickup. All right, and well, looks like we've reached the end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to stick around for more, be sure to subscribe. Remember, the tabs and much more is available at my Patreon, which is linked in the description. I want to thank you all for your support. We're about to reach 10K subscribers. An amazing milestone all thanks to you i'll see you all again in the next video lesson peace out